Okay, converting radians to degrees, we're going to take that same ratio and just flip it. So we're going to have 180 uh, degrees over pi radians. Okay, it's the same ratio, just upside down. So we're going to take pi fourths times, and then we want degrees. What you want is on top. What you want to get rid of is in the bottom. And so we're just going to multiply these together. So the pi's cancel, and then you end up with 180 over 4. And that's just 180 divided by 4. Let's see, 180 divided by 4. Whoops, I didn't clear. Should be 45. Yep, 45 degrees. And that is our answer in degrees. Okay, here's one more. Uh, 2 pi ninths times, and again, we want what we want, the unit is on top, what we want to get rid of is the unit on the bottom. Pi's cancel, 9 goes into 8, 180, 20 times, so that's going to give us 40 degrees. And that's our answer there. So hopefully so you've from seen a radians back to degrees. Okay, let's pull back our little formula. Okay, our little formula looks like this. We put our radians here and we multiply it this time by 180 over pi because I'm trying to get rid of my pi. So let's write this out. I have 4 pi over 5 and I'm going to multiply it by 180 over pi. So my pi's will cancel once I cancel them out. Now I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do 4 times 180 times pi. That's all on top over 5 times pi. What do you notice cancels? Well, the pi's cancel out. Okay, and I also can take 180 and divide it by 5 because that's, that's a nice, clean division. So let's see, 180 divided by 5. That's 36. So I can cancel this out, make that 1, cancel that out, make that 36. So I've reduced it by 5. So I have 4 times 36, and that gives me 144. So that's the degree measure once I multiply this out. So pi, or four pi fifths, or four fifths pi, however you want to say it, is equal to 144 degrees. So let's go back and get